Greetings, people. I come in peace. Naoya Inoue said, Japanese fighters have more heart than American fighters. Hmm. Speaking to Ring Magazine, the 30-year-old champion didn't hold back in describing his feelings about former opponent Stephen Fulton. In July last year, for his first fight in the super bantamweight division, he demoralized and then demolished his American counterpart. He stopped him in the eighth round. Up until that point, Fulton was unbeaten. In beating Fulton, Inoue became the WBC and WBO title holder. He explained, I could pretty much sense what Fulton wanted to do. I thought Fulton's face expressions showed it clearly. I don't know if it's because he's American, but he doesn't like getting punched in the face. He went on to say their boxing style is different from Japanese fighters who fight with Yamato Damashi. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It stands for Japanese spirit. He went on to say, well, I think there are some fighters in the US who fight like that, but probably not many. What do you mean, Holmes? Wow. <laughs> Really? If that doesn't tell you where America is in boxing, nothing will. I wonder if Inoue is familiar with American boxing history. I think his comments are a bit harsh, but I could see why he would say that. It would be a scurrilous, scandalous, ludicrous statement to make several years ago, maybe decades ago. America had the most skilled, bravest, toughest fighters in the game. There's no arguments about that. We can't deny it. There is definitely a changing of the guard with American fighters. They don't seem to be producing the prolific quality of fighters which littered the weight classes over the years. Inoue's allegation would be absurd in the past. But if we scrutinize his testimony, has he got a point? Let's do a little audit. We recently saw Deontay Wilder not winning a round in a 12 round fight with a boxer who everybody thought he would get out of there in six rounds. We saw Jamel Charlo, reluctant and hesitant to initiate an attack when fighting Canelo Alvarez, not really trying his best to win, opting to last the 12 rounds and escape with the money. You've got Keith Thurman, who is set to fight Tim Zhu in March, and he's been out of the ring for over two years after winning a fight against Mario Barros. And before that, he was out of the ring for nearly three years. What's happened to Danny Garcia, Jamal Charlo, etc. Very few top American boxers fight more than twice a year. You'd be lucky to see them in the ring once a year. It's not always their fault. You've got Jaron Ennis, um, a potentially modern great in the making. Simply doesn't fight enough and is suing his promoters for failing to deliver him 14 fights in four years. That's roughly four to three fights a year. If it's not the promoters, it's the managers or the fighters themselves. Money. <sighs> Money. I say that to say this. Inactivity makes you tentative. Before the Inui fight, Fulton hadn't fought for a year. He was given too much of a mountain to climb, no matter how good he is, to go in the ring with an excellent, dangerous fighter in his home country after a year out was more or less lamb to the slaughter. Do you know there's more non-American champions than there's ever been? At least I've never seen it like this. There's none in the heavyweights. And this is a four belt era. None in the cruiserweights. None in the light heavyweights. None in the super middleweights. One in the middleweights out of three non-Americans. One in the junior middleweights. That is inconceivable, really, if you watch boxing over the years. But hey, look, it's not all bad. The Americans pretty much own the welterweight division and the divisions down to lightweight. And of course, you've got Inoue, who's cleaned up the bantamweight than the junior featherweights. Now, Americans don't have a God-given right over boxing. But when a nation that has produced the best boxers ever known 
have a drastic fall from grace. The reasons have to be compelling, if only as a cautionary tale. Look, America still has great talented fighters with big hearts and talent. I just think they are mishandled. Some fall between the cracks, many earn too much too soon, and some become prima donnas. Some are delusional and think they don't have to try so hard. And as many people commented on my video about where are the great American heavyweights gone, they said most of the talent have gone into other sports, basketball, football, baseball, athletics. And I think that's true to an extent. But there's also a lot of shady characters on a money grab, hype men thinking about their own pockets, promoters who allow their personal beef get in front of the boxer's well-being, managers that are compromised, that don't do the best for their fighter for one reason or another. Well, here we are. Inoue is a very good boxer. And if you watch him, his style isn't too dissimilar to American boxers, of old anyway. But to say American boxers don't have heart isn't true. They are victims of their own success, maybe. They aren't as hungry, maybe. If American boxers want to regain their status in boxing, in world boxing, they need to fight for something other than money. They need to fight for legacy, pride, glory, nation, culture, whatever it is that they can draw on. What you see other people draw on, the Russians, the Ukrainians, the Cubans, the Japanese, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans. But money isn't going to be enough. At the moment, we have Terence Crawford, Devin Haney, Jaron Ennis, Shackle Stevenson, Javante Davis, and a few others that are leading the way. But even they are in danger of getting stale. They just aren't fighting regular enough. Soon fans will lose interest, forget who they are, and their purses will suffer. Anyway, thanks for listening. Please subscribe and remember, choose life. I have never seen such discipline. I am surprised to learn that the word samurai means to serve.